everyone, we're at the PAX East 2017 show now. This is our second video for the show. We're at the Logitech G Suite at the show looking at some of the keyboard timing testing that they have here. Similar to the mouse timing test we saw last year, but simplified in a great deal and a number of ways that are actually helpful to us because maybe this is something we could replicate in the future in our own lab. Before we get into this content, it is brought to you by EVGA and the GTX 1080 ICX cards like the FTW2 that we tested recently. You can also find the 1080 Ti shortly, probably in the next month or so. Link in the description below for more information on that. Uh, so let's get to this. First of all, we have the new keyboard. This is the Logitech G Pro keyboard. We'll have information on that in the article below. The competing keyboard, or at least the comparative one, is the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition. And what we're doing is pushing a giant red button to get a delta in the response time uh, between the keyboards. So how does that work? Well, we push the button, we see that the Logitech one, of course, tends to be winning by a couple milliseconds. That's why they would want to show us this. But they also want to show, as last year, that there's no funny business going on. So we have one of the modules here, the black box, with the button on it that is torn down. And what we see is when I push this button, what's happening is uh, that's being fed through here. It's obviously disconnected on this one. That feeds through here, goes into a breadboard up here, and through a timing circuit that is event eventually connected to a Raspberry Pi 3. That's what's underneath here. So that feeds through. There is a, a timer to make sure that when we push this button, the signal goes out simultaneously to both keyboards. So it feeds out through the front of this, which would be right here, through these cables, and these are connected to the L key on the keyboard. So it's basically simulating pushing the L key through an electric switch. That way there's no human error when pushing the key if you were to test it manually, which we could also do, but there'd be human error, so there's really no point. Uh, so that feeds into the keyboard, fires the L key, and then comes back out through USB, feeds in, and the Raspberry Pi is able to say, which one was first. So it sets, basically sets a flag, almost like a keyframe when you push the button, says this is the time it is, comes back, says this is the time it was when it came back, and then you get your delta, which is here. I don't have an absolute time for you in terms of how frequently uh, or what, how fast these things are in absolutes. It's definitely below 50 milliseconds. Uh, the delta is there. Now, one thing to clarify here is response versus report times and rates. So when you're talking about report or poll rate, you normally see something like 1,000 hertz, 1,000 times per second. Your mice, your keyboards, most of them advertise 500, 1,000 hertz. That is the report rate or the poll rate. This is the response time. So they're different. If we push a key here, it has a response time. It feeds into the system uh, and eventually gets reported to Windows. Now, unfortunately, even though you're being polled 1,000 times per second, that doesn't mean there's new data 1,000 times per second. What it means is it's getting pulled and it might miss one of those cycles. And so if you miss the cycle, if we miss by 10 milliseconds, we have to wait for the next poll. Does it matter? That's hard to say because ultimately we're talking milliseconds here. For actual pro gamers, people who aren't me, maybe it matters. I couldn't tell you. But what we can't see is the objective difference between them and at least a delta value uh, through this breadboard and Raspberry Pi setup, which is at least pretty cool. We saw that with the more advanced version for the mice last year. If you want to check that out, we'll leave a link below. And as always, article below for more information. Subscribe for more. Patreon.com slash GamersNexus to help us out directly. We might look into something like this in the future. I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.